Here are some examples from the day 63 assignment. Uh, here it says that a student council wants to know whether students would like the council to sponsor a midwinter dance or a midwinter carnival drag and drop each word uh, to, to classify each sampling method. Okay, so the first one, survey every 10th student um, on the school roster. So since there's a structured um, method that they're following, um, that one would be uh, systematic, that they're following a rule. So that would be a systematic sample. Uh, survey all students in three randomly selected homerooms. Okay, so since here we're grouping, uh, it is random, but they are, we're grouping the students by homerooms. This would be a cluster. Then uh, survey 20 randomly selected freshmen, 20 sophomores, uh, 20 juniors, and 20 um, seniors. So we, um, <clears throat> we're putting them in groups, but we're trying to make the groups as even as possible. So this one's going to be stratified. Survey those who ask uh, for a questionnaire. That's going to be self-selected. So the people are, are uh, they're choosing to be part of the sample. And then uh, survey a random selection of who those that happen to be in the cafeteria. That's just convenience. If they happen to be there, um, that would just be the convenience sample. <clears throat> Decide whether the sampling method could result in a biased sample and complete the explanation for your reasoning. So on the first day of school, all of the incoming freshmen attend an orientation program. Afterwards, the, pr the principal wants to learn the opinions of the freshmen uh, regarding orientation. She decides to ask 27, 27 freshmen as they leave the auditorium to complete uh, a questionnaire. <clears throat> so the, this sampling method is either likely or not likely to be biased um, since the sample is random and blank of the freshmen are available to be chosen. Um, <clears throat> so let's see, uh, afterward she wants to learn the opinions. She decides to ask 27 freshmen as they leave the auditorium. Um, well, as long as there was a, they weren't sitting in a certain area based on anything particular, I would say that this is not likely to be biased uh, because any of the freshmen could have been chosen. All right, same thing. So the members of the school drama club want to know how much students are willing to pay for a ticket to one of their productions. They decide that each member of the drama club should ask five of his or her friends uh, what they are willing to pay. This sampling method <clears throat> could be biased because the friends of the club members might be willing to pay more than others to, to go see their friends. Identify the population and the sampling method. A quality control inspector at a computer assembly plant needs to estimate the number of defective computers in a group of 250. He tests 25 randomly chosen computers. So the population is the entire amount of computers, so that would be all of the computers in the plant. And then choosing uh, 25 randomly control um, uh, see, the, the, the computers didn't choose themselves. They weren't spread out in a cluster. Um, it isn't every, like he didn't say every 10th computer, so this should be a simple random sample. And finally, uh, same thing, population and sampling method. A manager of a movie theater wants to know how the movie viewers feel about the new stadium seating. She asks every 40th person who exits the theater each Saturday night um, for a month. So the population is going to be every the, the the sample is who she chooses, but the, the population is all the people that go to the movie theater. And this is going to be systematic because it, she's following a rule. It's every 40th person. <clears throat> 